Hey guys, welcome to Altcoin Ignition. In this video, we're going to continue on from my previous analysis of the Bitcoin chart, and I'm going to let you know what I think will happen and how I plan to approach the market. So if you like the sound of that, stick around. But first, all I ask in return for the content is that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So we're here on my Bitcoin chart and I've rewound it to where we were last week. I said that Bitcoin was likely to follow this path, so let's see how it did. So I said it wouldn't be exact, but it was pretty close. We came down here, we had a bullish retest. We've then broken out of the triangle. We've been rejected at the all-time high level. Come back down for a test of the top of the triangle. And that's where we are now. I've actually got some bullish candlestick action here on the daily and it's looking pretty good for, for takeoff here. Now I can't take too much credit for it following my path at the moment because to be honest anyone with any experience in trading probably could have predicted the path up until this point. So where to from here? Well I did predict that we'd break out and make new all time highs before getting rejected at the top of the rising wedge falling down to the golden pocket down here. But analysis is not rigid and viewpoints can change. Something I forgot to take into account in my last video is the upcoming Coinbase IPO. Sitting the NASDAQ on the 14th and it's going to bring a lot of attention to Bitcoin and potentially propel us even higher. So I think on the back of that news it's really quite possible that we break the top of this wedge here okay and we keep going to the upside and once we're in new price discovery the only way to really chart this day is to either use fib extensions or Elliott waves. So for this video we're going to stick with the fib extensions that I've got here on the chart. And I think that we're going to see some pretty strong resistance when we get to these levels here. Okay, so that's uh, between about 72,000 and getting towards 74,000. Now, does that mean that when we get to these levels here that I'm just going to cancel my longs and sell all my Bitcoin? Well, no, this is just something that I think is likely to happen. I'll need to see confirmation of a top before I take any action. So I'll be looking for reversal patterns. I'll be looking for absorption of the market buyers where the price gets stopped. I'll be looking for buyers to fade and sellers to jump in. And if I start to see those things happen, then I will look for shorts. But I'm more than happy to see Bitcoin keep going. It's one of those situations where I'd love to be wrong. But if we do get rejected up here, look for us to probably get caught back here at the top of the triangle. Okay, and if we lose that, then we will be looking at going back down to the golden pocket down here. And welcome to a new segment called Hidden Gems. I'm going to start dropping the occasional hidden gem into some of my analysis videos. So the first one that we've got here is called Data Mine Flux. Okay, so the first thing to note here is that we have a market cap of only 577,000. It is tiny. Okay, so got a circulating supply really low circulating supply of 520,000 but you just need to bear in mind that this token does have a unlimited supply so they're constantly minting new tokens but they have a burn system to account for that so you'll need to do your own research on that I just want to put it on your radar okay and this isn't financial advice but what I like to do with coins like this if I find something that has a market cap this low is I don't invest too much in it okay and the reason for that's quite simple it's a new coin new coins have a tendency to sometimes fail to or turn out to be scams have any number of things that can go wrong with them okay they're unproven and i don't need to invest a lot okay because if this thing takes off it's going to easily do 100x from here if this is a high quality project so you don't need to invest much so guys let me know in the comments what you think is in store for bitcoin but that's all from me for this one i'll see you in the next video